everyone thanks for joining me it's patty from ps paper crafts and it's another fun friday fold um, glad you joined me today or on the replay today we're going to make what's called a wv fun fold card so this is the card i made it's a thank you card and it opens up like this and if you see there's the w and there's the v so i've made this in the past and um i just think it's it's fun so uh we're using on this card i'm using a celebration paper so during celebration january and february so january is over already um when you spend 50 or 100 dollars on product you get to choose um a $50 free product or a $100 free product. And this is one of the papers that's in the brochure. So there's a lot of different um, patterns, but I, I love the flowers here. And then I wanted to use this uh, striped background, but it's really, it's fun. It's got some great uh, cloud and rain. So that's pretty cool. So um, let's see, what else? The thank you is from the berry bu blueberry bunches. I love this and I did the thank you, and then I cut it using the postage, uh, perennial postage dies. So I used, there's all different shapes and sizes, so I used this, this one here that's just a rectangle, pretty simple. But you can use, you know, whatever you want on this. So it's pretty easy to make, and today we're going to use um, different products. I'm going to use the Up in the Air, is that the right name? I am so bad with names. Um, lighter than air. I knew it was something about the air. And this has really cool patterns. Um, it has all these fun patterns, clouds, but then it has um, some sheets of balloons. And we're going to actually cut out a balloon. I have it upside down. There's dies that coordinate. Um, so there's the, the hot air balloon stamp set. And then there's these dies that coordinate. And one of them actually cuts out. We're going to use this to cut out this balloon from this paper. So I like to be able to do that. And I even one time cut the, the cloud out because I wanted the cloud from this color. So anyway, let's get started with it. I have all my pieces. I didn't cut my main card base because I wanted to show you. Um, we're going to use this striped and then the other side is this pattern here. So um, let's put this aside. And let's start with the card base. So I have my basic white, thick basic white. I've got my trimmer. And I am going to cut this this way on the eight and a half because I want it to be five and a half by 11. And then we're going to save this piece because this is three inches and we want our V to be three by six. So put that aside. And now we want to start um, scoring this and don't worry about all uh, remembering all the the measurements um, below this video is a project sheet um, there's a, in the description on YouTube there's links um, one of them is to the project sheet you can go there and you can um, open it up you can print it out it has all the measurements and pictures and instructions so that's four and then five and three quarters all the way out to the five and three quarters. And then we have to open up the arm. If you have one of these trimmers, it's great because you can just keep going with it. And then we want seven and a half. And then nine and one quarter. And there we go. All right, so now we have our basic, our base, card base, the W part. And then for this, we want this to be three by six. So we already have the three that was left over. We're gonna go out to the six and cut it. And then I, I had this left over and I used this for my inside. So this is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So you can hang on to that and use that for the inside if you want. And then we want to score this at three. And then we're done with the trimmer. Okay, so this is our nice little V fold. So let's put this away. I think we're done with it. <clears throat> and get our bone folder out and just start 
um, putting these scores, burnishing the score lines. So this is going to open this way. I, I like to do it this way and then fold it back. Okay, and then this is going to go this way. And you'll see you're going to have a, a W. It's just kind of like an accordion. And then this way. And then one last fold is this way. And I like to um, burnish them all separately. I mean, you could fold them back and forth and do one of these, but I think it's nice to get them all done separately. So now you have your W and then you have your V and that's gonna just sit right in there. So pretty easy to do. So these are the papers I chose and this is the reverse side. So this could either go like this and I chose the white. I mean, I was back and forth between Azure Afternoon for the card base and the white and I, I decided to use the white so that it would just pick it up. So we could either do this or this. But I have this piece for the inside. And I thought for the V. So I think I my idea was to have these go like this. And then we'll have the V and the background like that. What do you think? That's what we're going with. So we're just going to glue all of these down. And then we'll do um, the front kind of sentiment piece. So let me get my glue out. See, once you have it, everything cut, you can like really make these quickly. So we're just gonna put, I use liquid glue. You could use whatever you want. And I just put a little bit down. I don't go overboard with it because it does kind of ooze out if you put too much on. And um, it's a strong glue, so you really don't need that much. So the key to these is we want them to all kind of line up across the bottom and the top. You don't want them to be, you know, one higher than the other, as best you can. So I'm changing my hairstyle. I, I have what I thought was wavy hair, but <clears throat> the girl cut it and it's really curly, like curlier than I ever thought it would be. And, um, I came there this, I went this morning before this video and it's really curly. <laughs> Every time I go there, I think she, uh, she said that it will get curlier as time goes on. And I'm also growing out the gray, so I have a whole different look going, but I feel like it's in my face a little bit here. I don't like my hair in my face, so I'm going to have to correct that when I do it. But yeah, she just, she didn't charge me. She just wanted me to come in so she could take pictures. She's doing my journey, I guess, or her journey in doing my hair. Real sweet girl. But, <clears throat> so, it's just like bothering me <laughs> in my face. Here we go. So now we have the stripes. And I did try to keep these in order. So the way I cut these, these are all five and a quarter by one and a half. And this paper comes in, you saw the pack of it. It's, um, it comes in a, a six by six. So what I did was I cut one of these six by six pieces. I cut it to five and a quarter, and then I cut each one, one and a half. And I thought I tried to lay them, but maybe I flipped them. I was trying to keep the pattern going, but it doesn't matter. So then I just cut each one. I guess I didn't do a good job with that. Oh, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. And then we'll lay this one in here. You could keep it white. If you think this is too busy, you don't have to put that layer in. It's up to you, that or that. And this, you could also, you know, you have choices. I think this would be a little too busy, too busy for me. So you could do this and then keep this white or make this blue. And this is what we're going to do, but you could do it like that or you could. So you've got lots of um, lots of ideas, choices uh, as you go. You could build it however you want. And 
you know, it's great with any kind of, I would say, coordinating um, pattern paper. And that's uh, one thing that I love about stamping up is that the, you know, everything coordinates. So in your paper pack, you always have papers that coordinate with each other. And then on the back of the pack, it tells you the colors that are in it. So like Azure Afternoon, Balmy Blue, Bubble Bath. So those are the colors that are in the paper. So then you can use the cardstock, the ribbon, the gems. Um, what else is there? The ink. Um, so it, it really makes it easy for people like me who have a hard time with color coordination. Um, you just kind of go with the colors they've already figured out for you. So we're just going to put this like this. And this one, you know, it's it does have a pattern to it. So you wouldn't want your piece to be like this. I think that would be a little wild. But maybe you like wild. I don't know. So let's do this. And I love a stripe. I love a diagonal stripe. I think it's fun and happy. And then you have all those colors to choose from for your inks and your ribbons and stuff so it's pretty cool so then we're going to put this in here like that and that gives you your your fold pretty cool right so uh let's do that first and then we'll decorate so the way i do this is i put it in and i want to make sure it's top and bottom centered left and right centered and we want to make sure we put the glue just here where it's holding it. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm just going to put glue up to here, down to here, and over a little bit. I don't want to go all the way over because I, I just want it really behind this um, V piece. So I'm going to go down here and over and just fill in with glue here. I don't want to go too far over right and then I'm just going to close this up and it is strong so if you don't go all the way to the edge it is going to hold it and I'm just going to press down for a minute and then I'm going to flip the whole thing over and I'm going to do the same thing back here so I'm going to open this up I'm going to put glue here to here and out a little bit. And then we're going to close this up. And if you had glue like oozing out, you could just wipe it. Okay. And I just want the glue to set for a minute. And WV. West Virginia. My brother-in-law went to college at West Virginia, so I always see that WV, um, whatever, logo. So the next thing we want to do is, we're going to keep this for the inside. Um, we're going to decorate it. So I want to get this. I'm going to cut this. So I want to get the die out, which is up here. And I did cut a label. I already did that. And I'm going to use uh, Wish Big. And then on the inside, up, up, and always, up, up, and away. Hooray, it's your birthday. You can't really put too much on the inside. So we're going to, I mean, you can stamp your own balloon and die cut it. And these two go together. So you could do diff two different colors, or you could do... A darker and then stamp off and do a lighter and then the banner you could put um, the banner across this there's these fancy dies you could stamp you can cut so there's a lot you can do with this but we're just going to get this heart die and we're going to place it right on here and let me get my tape so I have this post-it note tape or post-it tape and I'm just going to tape it in place I always uh, with designer if I'm cutting designer series paper I like to 
make sure I cut it well. And then let's do this little basket. I don't want to do the one under here, so we'll do this one that we can attach to it. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> Let me get the tape before I move it around too much. I think when I first put it down, I had it in the right place. And I'm just gonna put this like this. And let's put this stuff aside. Get my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And that, that post-it tape, you could use a post-it note or washi tape, or if you're good, you can, uh, oh look, this came right off. All right, if you're good, you can just, uh, I cut it without any. Let's try that, because I feel like I'm moving it around. Okay, so we're gonna put this in like this. And this is six by six, so it fits in without cutting the paper, which is nice. And we'll just put our plate on it. Let's see, I think this shifted. Let me try this again. I am going to try to use this to just scooch it over. All right, I feel like when I'm touching it, I'm making it, oh my goodness. All right. Is it worth it? I'm trying to like press in so it gets it in there. Okay, let's try this again. And then we'll just run it through. Okay. Let's take this off. And get rid of this machine. All right, so we should have the heart balloon, which I think, I think it's so pretty and I love this color. And then the little bucket. I'll clean that up later. Okay, so let's put that back there. Let's get our sentiment stamped. So I'm going to stamp it in Azura Afternoon and I already have my um, my stamp mounted. And I'm sorry, I keep stopping the video to cough. I'm still coughing. I went to the doctor and they gave me new medicine. So I'm gonna just do this right here. Wish big. And let's do the inside as well while we're here. So on the inside, I have this Hooray, It's Your Birthday sentiment. And I'm not gonna do anything else because I feel like it's too small and I wanna be able to write. I'm gonna press straight down. I don't know if you could see the blue here. I wanna make sure I don't rock <laughs> and pick up that blue on the edge. I could have wiped it off. All right, so now we have that done. I did get blue on my finger. Let me just wipe that off. I kind of put my finger in the ink pad at one point. I could feel it, but okay. So now we want to arrange this somehow. I'm kind of winging it, so wish big. Maybe we don't even need the bucket. After all of that, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it without the bucket. Just like that. Okay, so let's put this down and then we'll pop this up with um, dimensionals. And then we'll put the inside layer up and put some gems on it just to add some other fun things. So we're gonna just put this here. And the nice thing about the liquid glue is if it's not in the right place, you can shift it a little bit. There we go. So let's get some dimensionals. I love dimensionals. They're easy to put down and they just add a little, little pop-up to your project. 
So it's double-sided foam and you can just pull off the back and it's a nice adhesive. <clears throat> so wish pig, just like that, right? And so the trick to this, this white V is three by three. So this is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And you want it to be hidden behind this. So you're gonna put it down, but you might have to move it, shift it a little bit. You're gonna do the best you can to get it down in the right place. And then if you have to move it, just don't press on it. Just put it down where you think it will be based on where that is and try to make it straight but don't really press down until you look that looks good okay and now let's put we have these um let me get them out here these rainbow adhesive back dots and these match the color of the rainbow, isn't that great? So we can put on any color that we want. We could do the blue, so it coordinates, or we could do the, I think that's Highland Heather or Fresh Freesia. Let's see, where's the paper? It is Fresh Freesia. So you could put these to match the balloon. Let's do that. So I'm going to get my, just to kind of match it a little bit. I'm going to put this up here, and then we'll put a couple of little, little ones. Oops. Okay. Wish big. Hooray, it's your birthday. And then the thank you. Isn't it fun? I think it's a great... Uh, great fun fold and I hope you give it a try if you like this video give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe the other thing I wanted to mention and I have to send an email out is uh, during February there are new celebration items added um, more than what's in the brochure so if you look you know if you go shopping online um, check out the other celebration items again if you spend 50 you could pick a $50 item or if you spend 100 and that's before shipping and tax and stuff, you could pick a $100 item. All right. I hope you enjoy your day and your weekend and take care. Bye.